So guess what we found today? Yeah, somebody went to Walmart and bought some stuff, but we'll tell you a little bit more about that coming up right after this. Yep. And if you can't tell, I'm smiling. Can't tell. Can't tell. <laughs> I'm Judy and I'm Jim and welcome to It's a Highway Vlog where you get to travel the country with us and you don't even have to leave that sewing kit at the house. So while you're sitting there poking your finger and hoping you don't bleed all over everything, don't forget to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Good afternoon. It is Thursday afternoon, right? I think yeah. I got it right all this week. Thursday afternoon, and we are now sitting at the TA in North Chicago, which is, I don't know why they call it North Chicago. We're like a stone's throw from from Wisconsin. But, yep. but we are north of Chicago. Well, I guess so. Um, so we moved down here to the TA. And another stone's throw the other way. <laughs> Uh, we were sitting in Janesville, Wisconsin yesterday, and uh, we were unsuccessful in our attempt to secure a load for our truck. And so we decided we would drive down this way. Um, but first, we got up, and it was cold. It was freezing, just for the record. I can't believe two days ago it was 80 degrees, and then this morning it was, what, 37 when we yeah, woke up? Yeah, it was cold. 37. It was cold. it was cold in the truck, too. And then when we got down here, you know, talk about weird happenings, crazy, you know, Odd. almost, almost Twilight Zone-ish kind of things. It was 45 degrees. Yes. And what snowing. was it doing? Snowing. snowing. 45 degrees and it's flat snowing. out snowing. <laughs> it's like, did someone not tell, you know, the clouds that, hey, you know, it's 45 degrees down here. You're not supposed to be snowing. But it was. It wasn't sticking or anything like that. But it was just like, we're sitting in the, well, actually, we're sitting in the front of the truck when we first got here. And uh, I'm talking on the phone to one of my friends. And she's, and I'm looking outside and there's a blue truck parked next to us. So I'm like, 
what is that? And, you know, first I thought it was like paper or ashes or something. And I'm like, that's snow. And I told Judy, I said, it's snowing out. She and guess goes, what I said? No, it's not. No, it's, it's 45 not. degrees outside. It's not snowing. She didn't believe me at all. Same thing. So I she, thought somebody was She turns paper the truck on. <laughs> so the temperature comes up and she says, 45. I said, look, I don't care what your instrument cluster there says. It's 45. I don't care. Look outside. Oh. Well, and because because as we were driving in, I thought, I just looked at that thermal, you know, the, the, the dash. Monitor. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> and I just looked at it, and I, I swore it said 45. What? So when he said sure it was it snowing, my brain went, it can't be snowing, it's 45. So I had to turn on the ignition to see if I was remembering the temperature correctly. Don't believe your eyes. <laughs> Don't believe them because they uh, they can be very deceptive. <laughs> I guess so, but it was snowing out. So anyway, uh, we left up there this morning, and the first thing we did was we decided we needed to hit Walmart. Uh, there is a Walmart right down the street, and we hit it good. <laughs> uh, so we went down there, wanted to get there before a crowd showed up, which we didn't know because we have not really been to Walmart too much. That's where we always seem to end up buying our groceries. So of course. We decided only one of us needed to go in, and probably only one of us were probably going to be allowed in anyway. No, well, it was, you You could, you know, if both of us went in, it would have been fine, but they were making sure that there were only a certain amount of people that are going in, and I was confused at first because they had all these carts lined up in the front of the doorways on in both areas. The automotive place is completely closed. They wouldn't let you go in those doors. But I thought I was going to have to walk all the way down to the grocery part of it. But they actually had the door, but I didn't walk the way I was supposed to. But then I looked at the ground on the other side of the carts, and they had actual X's marked six foot apart. Oh, really? On oh. the outside of the store. So evidently there have been times when there's been too many people there that they would right. actually have to stand outside the door and wait. Right. So you had to go in. They were only allowing so many people in. Mm -hmm. And was there a line? No, did. there was no line. No line. No okay. line. I, I just, but I could see where they had it marked six feet apart on, with the yellow X's, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then inside, they had just a reminder over the intercom or, you know, the, the oh, overhead you stuff. Big Brother was talking yeah, to Big you. <laughs> I say that all the time, you guys. It's so weird when you walk in the store, and they I, I don't know how many of you've read 1984 or know who Big Brother is, but it just this just this whole thing of walking into Walmart reminds me of them coming across the you know airways and everybody has to act a certain way and the Ministry you know, of Truth. Yes, yeah, something whatever. And then but the the whole thing about social distancing and reminding us to keep our distance and to keep our you know I'm just like. Do you really have to tell us that? Yes, they do. <laughs> I guess they do. Uh, just, well, yes, truthfully, actually, they probably just do. Just not something you think comes over, the, you know, over the airways in Walmart. You know, usually it's, you know, hey, we got this going on over here. And, you know, don't forget to check out this. And, right. You know, but. but different uh, times. So you were actually able to get almost everything. This Walmart was really pretty after. well stocked. I mean, yeah. water was every i mean they had uh, they had every different kind of water and i got my sam's club water which i know all of you know only I'm limited a, we, though we, one. yep only one only, only one. one case um but i like those bottles because they're 20 ounce bottles instead of the 16 ounce and the water just tastes good uh, i don't Jim know if we're just water used better. to it i don't know uh i don't care for the and then we water. came down here and i actually got my water jug filled too wow. so yes, you which know. you were not able to do you could not get your, could you get your water filled in Janesville? No, Janesville did not. By the way, just if you're a trucker and you're in Janesville, you cannot get any soft drinks unless you go to Wendy's and purchase them. But their soft drink machines and I believe their coffee machines were closed oh, wow. down. Yeah. yeah. But here in North Chicago, uh, coffee and soda drinks are, At the TA are still Chicago. okay. You still have to use their cups, which is, but, which is fine. Okay. But Walmart, you were able to get, I know you came back with water. Yep, and, and you I got, got paper towels. Paper towels. And there was still some toilet paper there left, although it was kind of skimpy. Yeah. Um, and then uh, paper uh, bowls, which, you know, yeah. if we can't get those, it's no big deal. I've got a couple We've got up here. Bowls. But um, we just, stupid convenience for us. <laughs> yeah. So I feel like this is more of a, let's report on what Walmart has instead of a trucking channel. Yes, because but, you had heard, actually, that, they, that there were some stores that were talking about making the aisleways. 
Yeah, I had read someplace on Facebook, so again, you know it's true, um, that there was some serious consideration to where they were going to make Walmarts where you, the aisles were going to be one way, and so you would like alternate, you know, back and forth uh, through the aisles to cut down on interactions with people. And I know that there are talks too on some states, and I don't, I don't remember which ones, uh, where they're actually talking about limiting uh, Walmarts and other larger stores to only being able to sell essential items. So no clothing, which <laughs> I'm sorry, probably essential uh, at some <laughs> point. <I> mean? <laughs> um, and you know, no toys, no sporting goods, which again, fishing. Uh, <laughs> You know, just and toys kind of for the kids. Oh my goodness! You know, oh yeah, well, yeah. they get sick of playing with those. Let's play with something else. Yeah, don't don't allow the kids to have anything new to play with. That, that's uh, so. I don't know how that's going to go. No, um, uh, but and I I shared with you with mom and um, where she works. She works in apparel, mm -hmm. and uh, at Walmart. And she's been for the past couple of weeks. I think since all this started, they basically had shut down the fitting rooms, and you're not allowed to go in and try on clothes. Right. I don't know if you're not allowed or if they just shut them down. I, I have no idea. But she is not busy with apparel. Of course, nobody's really wanting to buy anything because of, or just, uh, for, just, you know, a fear of possibly, you know, right. not, not, or people oh, contacting this. Oh, almost virus. forgot. Look oh, what yes. Judy found. Look, look at this. You show up. Oh, know. now, now this is just because, um, we, we were talking about the masks and um, how that they want you when you're in public areas to have masks on. And in some states and maybe with some, some customers, we haven't ran into it yet, um, but they would want us to have masks. And of course, we all know they're not anywhere to be found. Not so of course, everybody's making drivers. some. And we haven't been home to, you know, get any made. But I was just thinking when I was in Walmart, I said, well, if we could find a bandana or something, because we don't have any of those, you know, it used right. to be parrot people, can't, used to be bandanas, but I know way back in the day, they were called hankies, you know, yes. <laughs> and people used to use those for, you know, blowing their noses and stuff. But anyway, I thought they might have some around. If they did, I had no idea where to look for them. I didn't see them. I thought they might be over with the socks and stuff, but I didn't see them. So I took the next best thing and thought maybe in the craft area and i knew i was i was just going to be struggling because i knew most other people were probably thinking the same thing i was that maybe i could find some material or maybe find some things i could piece together i already knew there was not going to be any elastic because that was already you know everybody's talked about no elastic being around right but anyway so i found these little just already cut pieces of material. Ta -da. Yeah, I mean, you can see her through that. So how 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 helpful is that going to be? Oh, she doubled it up. Now you can't see. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, I got this. But anyway, I thought these were better than nothing, and I know that um, you know you can you can maybe get something to put on the inside of it. But I got purple. Look at that. Oh, wow. And another a black little thingy there. I was trying to think of gem. Some of these are not you know you know too. Boyfriend, boy that? friendly it gender you know that's probably it, it it shouldn't matter right we don't care as long as we get our faces covered i mean i saw a picture on facebook somebody had an underwear you know i guess if you have to do it you have to do yeah, it one way or the other not happening not wearing underwear and uh social distancing because he had underwear for a cup yeah. of tea these are our aren't these so cool but anyway so, I like that though. Uh, sort of like that. Yeah, they have. Uh, they had all kinds of just little patchy kinds of things, but they they are semi squared. But the problem is, is they're they're cut, so the one side is going to fray really easily if it gets thrown in the wash, mm -hmm. like this up here. See, it's just cut. Yeah. So I guess you but, can do that. Yeah, but just I mean, all you have to do is just throw it around and then you know. Reach for the sky. <laughs> really. Are you threatening people? <laughs> we would have wore this like when I was a kid, playing, you know, cops and robbers. And Indians, cops and robbers, you know. You know. Well, there we go. There, it doesn't match your hat, though. Your hat's blue and that's black. I don't care. Of course, you could look like a bruise, right? Black and blue. Ha 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 ha. So, anyway, we got this. She actually bought a needle and thread, which, thankfully, I know how to sew. I do too. How many times have you ever sewn since we've been married? I don't, because you do. Zero. <laughs> Zero. 
zero. I am actually quite handy with I the used to. I did I did my 4-H projects and Girl Scout projects and helped mom, you know, with different things when I was growing up. I just helped grandma quilt. Yes. <laughs> yes. You're quilting. I didn't quilt. I didn't do that. I quilted. Yeah. And my grandma, when I was little, used to let me cut out quilt pieces and help her put her quilts together. These would make really good ones, too, when we're done. Yeah. We just cut that up and have a, a handy dandy reminder of all this I fun we've this, been having. This, this would really go together for a quilt. It would. Wouldn't that you be could awesome? make quilt pieces out of that. it. That and would be so people cool. would just look at it and go, why is your quilt black and white? <laughs> is it is it that old? Why, why does it have some <laughs> of that green in it? <laughs> <laughs> yellow or yellow. anyway so anyway yeah. those are pretty cool but yeah i was just thinking if you actually got sick and used yeah. those she got she got a needle and thread and then she she's just like well i could sew it up and i'm just thinking to myself no you mean i'm gonna sew it no up. we both could it could give us something to do you know i got i got a whole thing of needles you did know? you buy a thimble no because you can just tough it out with your finger <laughs> Actually, I think we have a sewing kit in here somewhere. Yeah, we do. We actually do have a sewing kit <laughs> that somewhere. That so. was complete with thimbles, but Which I just I've didn't know. Which I've used before, because if you remember correctly, your, oh, yes, your my, weighted my blanket. My weighted blanket got a hole in it. So. And I sewed that up. Yes, you did. And has it has it leaked? I think it might have a hole somewhere else now. <laughs> Not where I mended it, thank you Not very much. of course where he mended it. Why would that be? <laughs> <sighs> A man of many talents. Yes, yes, you are. You are a very man of many talents. So sewing like a mechanical thing too, just I think so. So that all those drivers out it there and all your... those men who are mechanically inclined, yes. they should be able to sew too, they because should. that's kind of a mechanical aptitude. Sewing is a very handy skill to have. Yes, it is. It is. So, yeah. Especially if they shut down apparel. Yes. It would be coming very handy. Just, Sew it up. Gonna, well, you know, I could probably cut out a pattern and sew a shirt, but <laughs> wouldn't be that good. Yeah. yeah. So just so you know, in the crafts craft section, there was plenty of material and there were plenty of needles and thread. Mm -hmm. So, you you know, if you really wanted to, you know, get a project going, you can. There you go. I'm seriously thinking, uh, oh, I well, know I can't go home and get my knitting that I, you know, was doing for before Jetty was born. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it, it would probably be a good time to finish that baby blanket you were making for Jenny. You know, for now all it's going to have to be full size now. <laughs> uh, she has this really, really pretty looking knitted blanket that she was going to give to Jetty, and you know, and he just when he was born, I was going to finish it before he was born. Yeah, and that didn't happen. She was really close to having it almost done, and then he decided to show up, and then she quit. <laughs> yeah, and I stopped. Too busy with baby then. Uh, so anyway. Uh, so that's what we're doing. Uh, we are sitting here in North Chicago. Oh, and I do have to talk about the wind, too. It's very windy. Yeah, I think I've shared this. I, I am not a motion person, and not this at all. is really not doing me any good. No. So all of you who can read and do that thing, when the truck's moving down the road she doesn't i can't do that when i'm going down the road and if it's windy while we're sitting still i can't do i can't do any i can't look on my phone <laughs> it's no. like ooh. and the worst part about it is what do i do i sit and eat and now she that we do can, that because it, for some reason while i'm eating i don't feel motion sick <laughs> <laughs> so weird but anyway i mean we we do have an essential oil we, we that we use um and uh you know hard candy or something like that but it, it's usually it's usually something food wise yeah. and because and what i used to do when it got windy in the truck is i used to go into the truck stuff and just kind of hang out in the lounge or do laundry or just you know something like that but now with our social distancing and the lounge is closed and no place you can really just sit and hang out because if you do, somebody's going to pass you within those six feet. And uh, so it's just, it's, it just, I'm just having all kinds of trouble, everybody. Which I don't means, understand. <laughs> which means I'm having all kinds of problems also. No, you're not. You just got your nose in your computer. You don't care. <laughs> Oh, so. so another marathon of NCIS today because I watching TV doesn't seem to bother me. So I'll just nope. sit and watch. Thank goodness that. we are. Where are we at here? We are at uh, season 
11. 11? Episode 18? Yeah, yeah. There's only 15 seasons, so yeah, this so, could go pretty quickly. I mean, quickly. we're only in season 11. This is, We've been doing this for like a month now, so it's not like they're going to end no, we're gonna overnight. We're going to have to find something else to we watch. We probably can watch NCIS Los Angeles all the way through. Uh, I, it's not on here, though. Is NCIS New Orleans on here? No, not on Netflix. It's just NCIS is the only one that's on here. Could finish watching Supernatural. Yeah, Supernatural. Mm -hmm. Maybe so. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, uh, which so, reminds me, I was, the, you know, Good Friday's tomorrow. Yes. Um, we also do have Monday, Thursday. They're having a service tonight online. Um, but we're going to catch, uh, I think at home they have one. I don't know if uh, LifePoint does, but Trinity, I believe, does. And so does First, I think. They both do. So we'll catch those services. And... Hmm. Uh, I would read more devotions and things like that, but I can't read right now. No. <laughs> so, it's, it's such a pain. It's very sad. Um, such a pain. So. But anyway, this being Holy Week and all. Yes. Thought I'd bring that up and yes. uh, just to keep in touch and. We, get all uh, that we do have work to do this next week, but we're not going to say anything about it just because we don't want to jinx it. So we're, we're not letting you know what we're doing next week. We have faith that everything is going to work out. We're really hoping. Faith, faith, faith. Yes, faith, yeah. faith. So yep. God's in control. He'll take care of us. Yeah. So we will let you know when we finally go back to work. <laughs> for sure. Uh, we for do sure. not have a load for today. We do not have a load for tomorrow. Um, and so we are hoping maybe something would pop up short around the Chicago area maybe because uh, we need to stay sort of in this area um, for what comes next and uh, but we don't know and, and so we are just sort of hanging out and uh, and for those of you who are new to trucking or are looking to get into trucking and you're watching this stay home just, <laughs> just realize that this is a season that hopefully will be over sooner than later um, and in our nine years we have we have not seen this. No. So I don't it's think not. Anyone has seen it, this, this is just like the new normal. We, we didn't want to say we hope it's not normal, and not a new normal. <laughs> but we'll try to we'll try to keep you all updated on how things are going out here. You right. know, as all of this progresses. So um, just know if, that this week between the holiday and um, what's going on in the world. You know, this is just um, a weird week. Yeah. So, okay. All righty. We will uh, keep watching. Subscribe to the channel. Ring and the now notification that we've been bell. babbling for 20 minutes. <laughs> ring the notification bell. Oh, ring it. Yeah. Ring that notification bell. Uh, and stay safe. And we'll see you all in the next video. So long, everybody. Good night.